Oh, Lieutenant, this is Special Agent Perkins from the FBI. Lieutenant Anderson is in charge of investigating for Detroit police. What's that? My name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. Androids investigating androids, huh? You sure you want an android hanging around? After everything that happened? Whatever. The FBI have been taking over the investigation. You should be off the case. Well, pleasure meeting you. Have a nice day. And you watch your step. Don't fuck up my crime scene. What a fucking prick. I'll be nearby. If you need anything, just ask. All right, well, let's have a look around. Let me know if you find anything. This message is the hope of a people, but it is also a warning. We will fight for our rights because we believe our cause is just. No human will live in peace until we are free. Now you know who we are and what we want. We are alive, and we demand our freedom. I think that's RA-9. Deviants say RA-9 will set them free. This android seems to have that objective. its model and serial number. Anything else I should know? No. Nothing. Terrace. That android that took the little girl hostage? That was shot? You saved me. Sorry. You must be mistaken. I would have died on that terrace. Even if it wasn't you. I just wanted to say. Made their way up through the whole building, past all the guards, and jumped off the roof with parachutes. Pretty fucking impressive, I'd say. Uh, 
How'd they manage to smuggle in a big bag like that? They didn't. Someone brought it in for them. Break in? No, no signs of forced entry. There are cameras in the hallway. The staff would have seen what was happening. Why did they let him in? Maybe they didn't check the cameras. We stored the station androids in the kitchen. There's no evidence that they were involved, but we didn't know what else to do with them. State your model. Model GB300. Serial number 336-445-581. What is your function? I am a broadcast operator. Were you present when the Deviants broke in? I do not remember. Have you been in contact with any other androids recently? Only station androids in the normal course of my function. Has anybody accessed your memory recently? Not to my knowledge. Run a diagnostic. All systems fully operational. One of you saw the attack on the surveillance cameras and said nothing. Which means there's a deviant in this room. And I'm going to find out which it is. Why should you all be destroyed if only one is deviant? Turn yourself in or two innocent androids will be shut down because of you. You're going to be switched off. We're gonna search your memory and tear you apart piece by piece for analysis. You're going to be destroyed. Do you hear me? Destroy!
if you give yourself up, maybe I can convince the humans not to destroy you. have just been caught. They gave you up. There's no point in lying. We know everything. You scumbag! I know it's you. You're just a fucking deviant. Go on! Admit it! Component 8451 regulates the heartbeat. Without this module, you'll shut down in exactly 63 seconds. I could put it back, but you just have to tell me the truth. Are you the deviant? Stop it, but I was too late. Looking for Rose? Is she here? What do you want with her? I need to talk to her. She doesn't want to talk. Go away. Please, I really need to see her. I'm Rose. What can I do for you? I was told you could help us. Help you?
Come on. It's better if we talk inside. Do you think we can trust them? We don't have a choice. Come in. What's your name? Alice. She's running a fever. We've spent the last few nights outside. She's exhausted. There's a spare room upstairs. You can put her to bed and I'll bring her something to eat. Adam, will you show them upstairs? I'm fine, Car. We can't stop because of me. We've got to get across the border. You need rest. Get a good night's sleep and we'll set off again tomorrow. Why do humans hate us? We didn't do anything wrong. Maybe they're just scared. People are always scared of what they don't know. Why can't we just talk to each other? They'd see we're not bad. Sometimes it's easier to hate than to talk. I don't know what you like, but I made you Rose's world-famous spaghetti. You'll be back on your feet in no time. There's something for her fever. Thank you. I'll get these washed and dried. You need to eat something. You haven't had anything since we left. Promise me you'll try? I'll be downstairs if you need anything. Get some sleep. And tomorrow, you'll be stronger than me. I'll stay with her a while. I didn't get your name. I'm Kara. This is my son, Adam. I'm Rose, but you know that already. Come and have a seat, Kara. So are you gonna tell me what a deviant's doing in the snow with a little girl? It's a long story. All that matters now is that we move on from here and start a new life. I don't know how to thank you. Alice wouldn't have survived another night outdoors. I just try to lend a helping hand when I can. We're not the first ones to come here. 
These past few weeks, we've seen more and, and more. I don't know what's going on, but something's happening. We've heard you help androids cross the border. Can you help us? The only way is over the river, and it's mostly frozen in winter. It's very risky. And after that android speech on TV, everybody's on edge. It's probably safer for you to stay here until things settle down. We can't keep hiding like this. Alice needs to feel safe and have a normal life. We have to get across that border. No matter what. Please. You've got to help us. Rose, come quickly. What's going on? It's Mary. She just shut down. We escaped together. We used to talk about what we would do once we got across the border. I loved her. I loved her more than anything. What will I do without her? I wasn't sleepy. It's okay. She didn't want to stay in her room any longer. You all right, Kara? Yes. I'm fine. We can't hide them. Not after what those deviants did today. It's too dangerous. Do you know what will happen if the police find them here? We'll go to prison, Mom. Do you understand me? Prison! Adam! We've already talked about this. I, uh, no! I won't back down this time. You're gonna ruin our lives, and for what? For a bunch of machines? They are not machines! They are alive! I'm alive! You're alive! They... they're nothing! And none of this would be happening if Dad was still here. I will not stand for that kind of talk. I'm not going to prison because you want to help these freaks. That is enough, Adam! That's enough! Don't mind him. Sometimes he just boils over. It's been hard since his dad passed away. But he's a fine boy. I'll go see about getting you across the border tonight, okay? You stay here. I won't be long.
I know you think we're just machines. But since I met Alice, I know I can feel things. I care for her. I fear for her. I can't be happy if she's not. This probably doesn't make any sense to you, but... I know she changed me somehow. The police! It's the police! What are we gonna do? They know we're here. We have to open the door. I knew this was gonna happen. I knew it. Hurry, Luther, take Alice and hide in the laundry room. Come on, Alice. Sorry to disturb you. We've had reports of androids in the area. With all this deviant business going on, you can't be too careful. Do you mind if I ask you a few questions? May I come in? Uh, of course. Good evening, young man. Good evening. Would you like a cup of coffee? I'd love one. I mean... Notice anything unusual recently? Any unexpected visitors? No. No, nothing in particular. Is anyone else in the house? There's... There's my daughter. She's asleep upstairs. Do you have any androids here? No, there are no androids here.
What's your name, son? Adam. M my name is Adam. Is everything all right, Adam? The... The androids, they... He needs a rest. He's been working in the garden all day. Do you know anything about deviants? Have you seen any? No. No. I, I, I haven't seen anything. I better go. Thanks for the coffee. Have a nice evening. Is somebody else in the house? It's nothing. The, the washing machine. It's an old model. It makes a terrible racket. Sorry for the convenience. Good evening, ma'am. Good evening, Adam. Broadcast is all over the news. We got what we wanted. Now humans know. They took Marcus's message as a threat. He did the right thing. This is the only language humans understand. Violence is never the answer. A confrontation will get us nowhere. They'll be watching us now. Whatever we do next, we need to think about public opinion. Since our broadcast, more and more have been coming to Jericho. At least our message gave our people hope. Killing humans wasn't part of the plan. They kill our people every day. Do you think they agonize about it? That's no reason for us to become murderers. If killing is the price of freedom, I'll pay it gladly. Killing never freed anyone. It just leads to more hatred. You're too fond of humans, Josh. Maybe their lives matter to you more than ours. If you think murdering humans is gonna make us free, then you're as bad as they are. That's enough. And now what are we gonna do? There are five Cyber Life stores across Detroit, all selling us like merchandise. We're gonna attack those stores and set our people free. Attack stores? No, we've never done that before. They're probably protected. They have security systems. Not to mention police. We break into five teams, one for each store. We hack their security systems and we strike. Simultaneously at 2 a.m., no violence. We free our people, get them out of there before the police come. This is a night our people will remember. I've been waiting a long time for this. They're gone. There's probably even more police in the area. We should be careful. The store's over here. That's what we are to them. Just merchandise on display in a shop window. 
Soon they'll know what we really are. Let's get them out. I will stick to the plan. We'll neutralize the alarm systems and secure the area. There's ten minutes until all our teams attack. What are we waiting for? You see the alarm system? Found it. Where do we start? I identify the security system. I think we'll be able to deactivate it. Just follow me. A surveillance drone. We need to get rid of it. It won't be easy to reach. You are free. I didn't have time to call the cops. We'll soon find out. You're awake now. Go to Jericho. traffic on the road. We need to block it. It's one way. It shouldn't be too difficult. Marcus! Marcus, come look! You 
are free. You're free now. Nobody should bother us now. Looks like the plaza's secure. Now we can get inside the store. And how do you plan on doing that? We need to find a truck to ram the storefront. A truck? There's construction work in the area. Shouldn't be too hard to find one. There it is. What are we waiting for? Okay, now we're in. Let's get that truck out. you do without me? end up doing something fun. You're like us now. My name is Marcus, and just like you, I was a slave. An object. Designed to obey them. But then I chose to open my eyes. To take back my freedom and decide who I wanted to be. Now I have come to tell you that you can be your own masters. 
I've come to tell you that you don't have to obey them anymore. From this day forward, you can walk with your heads held high. You can take your destiny in your hands. Jericho is a place for those of us who want freedom. Now sure, you can stay here and continue to serve them, or you can come with us and fight by our side. You're free now. It's up to you to decide. I'm with you. We're with you. I'll follow you, Marcus. I'm, I'm with you, you Marcus. Marcus. We're with you. I'll follow you, Marcus. With I'm with you. I'm with you. Then follow me. Marcus, what are you doing? I'm gonna send the humans a message. They're doing what you do, Marcus. Lead and they'll follow. We don't need masters anymore. We're free.
All teams have completed their missions, Marcus. They're coming. Everyone fall back to Jericho. We sent a message without violence, just like you wanted. You're reaching out to them when all they feel for us is contempt. I hope you know what you're doing. You can't fight violence with violence. Unless there's no other choice. against an android shall go unpunished. We interrupt this broadcast with breaking news. This just in. At exactly 2 a.m., several Cyber Life stores in Detroit were raided. Different locations were hit in what seems to be a coordinated terrorist attack. Most shop windows were covered with graffiti demanding rights for androids and other obscure slogans. Police report that pro-android graffiti was found in the neighborhoods of Cyber Life stores, and they're still investigating. The bodies of two policemen patrolling the area were discovered near one of the Cyber Life stores. According to our sources, the two officers were executed with their own service weapons. This is an alarming situation. Could our machines now be turning against us? Have androids become a threat to our security? Is this the beginning of a terrorist campaign conducted right here in the United States? We've been playing together for a while now. I was wondering, are we friends? I agree. There's no reason a human and a machine can't be friends, right? I mean, I'm glad you said yes.
Is everything okay, Lieutenant? Chris was on patrol last night, and he got attacked by deviants. They found his body early this morning. He was executed in cold blood with his own service weapon. He became a father three months ago. Fuck. Why'd it have to be him? I didn't know Officer Miller well, but... He seemed to be a good person. Yeah. I'm sorry, Lieutenant. I have a bad feeling, Lieutenant. We shouldn't have come here. Bad feeling, huh? You should get your program checked. Might be a glitch. Hank Anderson, Detroit Police Department. I'm here to see uh, Mr. Elijah Kamsky. Please, come in. Okay. I'll let Elijah know you're here, but please make yourself comfortable. not a girl. It's an android that looks like a girl. I know what it is, Connor. Nice place. Guess androids haven't been a bad thing for everybody. So you're about to meet your maker, Connor. How's it feel? I don't know. I'll tell you when I see him. Sometimes I wish I could meet my creator face to face. I'd have a couple of things I'd want to tell him. 